right, everybody, it is time now for our moment of faith. Many of us know what an Advent calendar is, packed with yummy chocolates and treats as we count the days until Christmas. But what exactly is the Advent season and why is it so important to include in our Christmas celebration? Joining me now with insight is Jesse Bradley. He's the pastor of Grace Community Church, former professional soccer player, and we're got, glad to have you here. He's also author of The Power of Second Thought, How to Live with Indestructible Hope. Uh, welcome to the show, Jesse. It's good to have you. Um, tell us, because I'm, I'm a big Advent person. I, my, my mother always had the, and my church as well growing up, always had the Advent wreath. You know, you count down the weeks until you light the Christ candle. It's, it's so sweet. And then now they've commercialized it and we have chocolates in every day. My kids can't wait. They, keep, they try not to eat the chocolates ahead. They steal each other's chocolates, which is not very Christian-like of them. Uh, but tell us what it really means. What's the true point of it? That's right. Our kids like the chocolate as well. But when we think about Advent, it's such a meaningful time of the year. And Advent means the coming, the arrival. And there's three aspects. First, we look back and we celebrate the birth of Jesus. And we also have the present time where there's a reception in our hearts of Christ to walk closely with him. And there's also a forward aspect, looking forward to Christ's return. And his second coming is guaranteed. It'll be full of joy. And that's one of the themes of Advent. When you consider the four themes, there's hope, peace, joy, and love. And these are all of Christ. This is a relationship. All of these are available. We're living in a time right now where people are searching and starving for hope. But the truth is, hope is relational. You find a little more hope when you focus on hope. But actually, when you focus on Jesus, his hope doesn't run out. And that is so true and, and exactly the point of your book, ironically. Um, but, um, you know, I think when we are going over these things with our children, um, there's just there are some important messages that are totally missed if you're if you're just focused on the chocolate. Right. So what how do you talk to children about this? Yes, we love to gather with our children every night, actually, and start to read scripture together. You can, with your family, open up the Gospel of Luke and during December, read one chapter each day. And as you read it, ask questions. Find out what did the kids hear? How are they processing it? What do we learn about God? What do we learn about life? And it's really conversational. With kids, they're going to read the Bible, but they're also going to read you. So be authentic, be humble, be honest, be loving, be consistent, and God's going to help you. It's not easy to be a parent, but one of the roles is to train your child up so they really learn how to go deep with Jesus, receive his love, and how to live for God in a culture that's sometimes going the wrong direction. How do they shine their lights where they go to school and in their neighborhood? And as you draw close to your kids and as you draw close to God, God is the one who created family. God is the one when he's at the center of a family, he brings unity and restoration and healing. So take some time, be intentional and gather with the kids. That's a great habit. God will meet you there. We know when we draw close to God, he will draw close to us. God is love and we need God's presence today. I love that. And I think it's so important, uh, your reminder to bring the scripture into, to use the book of Luke. I know that we read that at our Christmas table, often at our Thanksgiving table as well, um, just to remind us what Christmas really is all about, what really happened as we celebrate that amazing and miraculous birth. Jesse Bradley, thank you so much for being here. Merry Christmas to you.